Step one, find an old junky saw blade and give it a little bit of a wash real quick. Something that you uh, don't care to ruin. Uh, step two, spray paint. This is an epoxy spray paint, just happens to be what I have on hand. And it's what I'm going to use because it uh, will create a nice durable uh, finish and it will blend any imperfections pretty well. Step three is an old clock. Now I've already taken the mechanism out. This is just a dollar store clock. It's like three bucks locally. I've already taken the mechanism out and I was only going to use this. However, once I have this on the back side of the blade, I don't really have any mounting locations. So what I'm going to do is just going to use some tin snips to cut this plastic all the way around in a ring. And that will give me this mounting location. That's what I'm going to use to hang it. Step four, you have a freshly painted surface on the saw blade that has sit overnight. Step five is to find a clock face. I found this template on the internet. I put a little bit of wording down at the bottom and I took it to a local sign shop and they cut this out of vinyl. So now I just need to transfer this onto the, to the blade itself. To apply my decal I'm lining up 12, 3, 6, and 9 with the expansion slots on the blade. All of my decal did not transfer. Uh, if you look closely, the little dot on the eye is still on my sheet here. So, just with the razor blade, I can pick it off the sheet and set it where it needs to be. All right, we've got our clock piece, and here is the mounting hole for the wall. We want that to be right at 12. What I'm going to use for glue is some, uh, just some regular Gorilla Glue, and I'm going to glue this to the back of the saw blade. Now, if you're putting a saw blade up on the wall, you obviously want to take the precaution to make sure that it's not going to fall off the wall, because if it does fall, Obviously these blades are, have sharp edges and you don't want them to fall on anything or anybody or roll off and hit your toe. So uh, be cautious of that and uh, shouldn't have any problems. With my glue in place, this is the number 12 and I'm just going to use a reference point to know that from the center to this blade is 12. So now that I can set it in place like so, keeping it centered the best I can. Because I am using Gorilla Glue, it's going to have to sit for a little while. And I've just got some uh, scrap piece of whatever that I will set in place to better distribute some weight. And I'm going to let that sit for about four hours. Alright, it's been sitting long enough for that glue to set up. So I can remove this. And just verify that this back, it's not going to wiggle off. That's pretty solid. Alright, so now we can start putting our hands back on. And we're going to start with the our hand and we're just going to line everything all up with 12 and they just slide back right into place the same way you pull them off 
And uh, now you can put your battery in. Adjust it to it is 647 p.m. I think I got that right. Go right there. There you go. There's a neat little clock for you. I'm going to hang this one up. I actually made two, so I'm going to hang this one up and see how it looks. Like I said, I actually made two. This one's going above my uh, miter saw stand area. I'm changing stuff around here in the shop. Uh, this one's going over here, and the one I've previously made, it is in the old clock location. Uh, during the loft bed build, uh, I destroyed the clock that was right there. Uh, don't ask. It just got destroyed. But anyway, this one is a little bit more aggressive tooth. And this one, it's more of a cross cut blade, but nonetheless, it's a white background, black lettering. I can see it just fine from around the shop. Um, I originally took the, took the blade and just cleaned it off and used a Sharpie to draw the letters and stuck it to a, a clock for that one, or stuck it to a saw blade to make that clock. And from a distance, with it just being a gray saw blade and black hands, you can't really tell what time it was, so I decided to paint them white. And that's when I decided to actually get a decal for them. So, anyway, real quick, real simple, real easy, and a nice little addition to any shop. Uh, if you like what you see, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.